Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We find that the power rating mentioned in electric device. For example, if we take uh, this bulb, we find the 100 watt mentioned here. This represents the amount of electric energy this uh, electric bulb consumes in a given time. In this video, we are going to discuss electric power and electric energy in any electric circuit. When a battery is connected in a circuit, the battery establishes current in that circuit. Here, I have connected a battery to a resistor of resistance R. I consider a positive charge Q moving from A to B across the battery and moving from C to D through the resistor of resistance R. When the positive charge moves from A to B through the battery it gains electric potential energy and the battery loses the same amount of chemical potential energy. When that positive charge moves to point D through resistor of resistance R, it loses the electric potential energy. By colliding with the atoms present in the resistor. The phenomena repeats till the battery is connected in the circuit. Here, the rate at which electric potential energy is consumed or delivered is referred as electric power represented by letter. P. Here, electric potential energy is denoted by letter U, which is the product of electric potential V and a charge Q. So, I told you earlier, electric power P is nothing but rate of electric potential energy. We know when we divide the quantity with time we get a rate. Here du by dt is rate of change of electric potential energy. So this is nothing but power and here I am going to mention the value of u from the above equation. d this can be written as d of d upon dt d by dt of u. Now we will substitute the value of u from above equation. So do I get d by dt of in the place of u I write v q. Then in the next step p is written this way. V Q. Here, if you look at the diagram, you find that V, which is the electric potential, it is a constant. It is not going to change. So it is brought outside. Then what we get is D Q upon D T. This portion D Q upon D T means the rate of change of charge or rate of the charge flowing through a circuit. Rate of flow of charges flowing through a conductor in a circuit is dq upon dt and it is nothing but current. What is dq by dt means? dq upon dt is nothing but current flowing in the circuit. That is the representative letter i. So, the above equation 
I am going to mention the value of dq upon dt. So, what do I get is this p is equal to here v in the place of dq by dt, I write i. This is the, the expression for power. So, in simple words, you can say electric power is the product of voltage and current. Now, I am going to use Ohm's law. What is Ohm's law? We know. Ohm's law says that V is the product of current and resistance. If I use this one here, I get a, a new expression for power. So this P the place of V I write I R then I S H. This gives me a new expression for power. I square R. Similarly, from this expression, I is equal to V upon R. If I use this here in this equation, what do I get? I get this. P equals to V into I. So, I keep a V as such. In the place of I, I write this value. V upon R. So, P is equal to V square upon R. This is what I have to do. These uh, two expressions are alternate of this expression. Now, let me tell you about the electrical energy. Electric power actually represents the rate of electric work. Done. That means P is a work done divided by time. How much electric work is done in a given time is referred as electric power. Then electric energy, electrical energy. The present letter E The amount of electric energy consumed by any device is obtained by multiplying electric power with a time. So you can say E is the product of electric power and time. Here, uh, electric energy is measured in joules. The unit of electric energy is joule. It is letter J. In the another word, we know power is measured in watt and time is measured in second. So, there is one more unit of electric energy. Is Watt second. But uh, we use kilowatt hour as the commercial unit. So, commercial unit of uh, electric energy consumed by any devices, commercial unit. This kilowatt hour. It is also referred as one unit. 1 kilowatt hour is also referred as 1 unit of electric energy. So, what is this means? Here, 1 kilowatt hour can be written as 1 kilowatt into 1 hour. 1 kilowatt into 1 hour. 1 kilo means 1000. 1000 watt. 1 hour means 
60 minutes or 60 minutes and each minute have 60 uh, like say right 60 minutes and how many minutes are there I am sorry how many seconds are there in each minute there are 60 seconds so 1000 baht into 60 into 60 3000 3600 seconds so in simple words right 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1000 watt into 3600 seconds if you multiply these two what do you get with this then power 3 the place of 1000 then the place of this you get 3.6 into 10 power 3 so what do you obtain is this 3.6 3.6 into 10 power 6 per second. This is the, the value that we have obtained, and this can also be written this way. The 3.6 into 10 power 6 watt second can be represented as. Is one kilowatt hour is equal to three point six into ten power six joules. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put a question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.